We are here with <laughs> Daniel, our regular guest, <laughs> regular guest from Nintendo Treehouse. Getting comfortable on the couch. Now. Yes. I uh, thank you for coming back sure. time and time again. Uh, so you're here with Super Mario Party. Yes. Uh, and and you have a lot to show us. So we have some gameplay. We have some, you're going to show us uh, the little tricks with the tablets. The new you were yeah, Toad's the trailer. We'll be talking about a little bit as well. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Uh, um, so what are we starting with? Uh, we basically, so just the Mario. It's basically um, we're gonna start just jump into uh, a mini game. We've already I got four people playing already in the middle of the game. So, but it's always the mini games are to me some of the funnest parts of Super Mario Party. Absolutely. This is the Gridiron Gauntlet, uh, where it's four players. Um, they are being controlled. Uh, basically, the goal here is just to survive, not getting hit more than three times and last thirty seconds before you get knocked out by all these wonderful football-like players just kind of running around the field. And you can actually push each other around, so you can start doing that whole thing of going against each other again, kind of working together, not working together, however you want to go. Fantastic. Um, you can see we start pushing each other around. You can see right now Bowser's. Already, we already lost Luigi. <laughs> no Luigi? surprise there. Who's Luigi? Come on. <laughs> but yeah, Luigi? It, it looks like you guys are obviously tapping into the classic mini game mayhem yes, that yes, is yes. Mario Party, just Super Mario Party. This yes, time. that's just Super Mario Party. It's a reason why it's going a little bit more back to that original name is uh, a lot of the gameplay harkens back to the original because right here on the game board, um, I we get to see scoreboard away. Um, each player is moving individually, so it's no longer in the vehicle form from before. So that's gone back to everyone moving separately, um, and basically having that kind of get feel of the gameplay that people might remember from the original the original days of Super Mario, of Mar Super Mario Party. Uh, but yeah, so the chance to look at the map. We can look at the map real quick first. Uh, I'll just bring, oh, our items. <laughs> <laughs> so what what made you guys decide to do that? Because like as uh, like my team uh, at ScrewTech, especially, we love Mario Party. Mm -hmm. We we created this whole series called Mario Party After Dark, <laughs> because the way we play <laughs> Mario Party is we try and destroy our friendships <laughs> by the end of a, a good a good fifty turns. Yes. Um, but yeah, that competitive aspect of the game is very important to us so when you guys did do the vehicle thing we kind of felt it lost a little bit of its charm it, it was that the kind of feedback you received as uh, well it, i mean the, the dev teams are always looking at ways to, 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 innovate, to innovate the series and this is a nice way to bring it back to that original feel of what the series is all about so yeah that competitive gameplay you're going to talk about there um and the whole thing here like as you say here's like the map that you move on individually you can actually see what's on each spot now so it's a little bit more oh, understanding cool. what's happening oh, that's great if you zoom out for a bit you can actually see the line oh so that's fine <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying you can, you can get a uh, if you see the, uh, you can actually get, get the toad tip actually i think if you can see the lines going around there um, oh yeah i did it i already did it oh yeah actually the first time you're at the map you actually can see lines it'll actually line up showing you what the pathways oh, are oh yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah so you can see that. what you're supposed to be trying to do so how many different uh, boards do you guys have? Uh, we haven't got a detail on that yet, so we'll get more uh, about that. So we're kind of really just showing off this first board right here. Um, but what's interesting now about each of the characters is every character now has a special dice block. So there's the dice block of one through six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But then each character has a special dice block which can vary for bathing on the character. So uh, for it's like Bowser's might be two give you coins or moves you one space or eight, nine, ten. Mm. So, or Donkey Kong could be zeros and tens. Interesting. Examples of that, um, or certain patterns like one, 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 two, two, five, five. So it matters more, kind of, which character game piece you're picking now because they have different they have that, skills. They have that, yeah, that special yeah. dice block. But you can also get allies in the game as well. So if you get an ally, you actually get their custom dice block. So right here, you can oh, back, oh, she's calling an ally. We'll have you call the ally first. The buddy phone. So we're just calling an ally. Um, so of, of the characters that haven't been chosen yet, you'll randomly get one. Hmm. So here comes Rosalina. Uh, Rosalina gives up her character dice block to Luigi, and we'll jump back in a second when, before she rolls to see that. There's that down the corner. You can see that's Rosalina's dice block with two coins, two, three, eight, and five, well, five and six. Couldn't see it quite fast. Uh, but here you go with the right here you go. So oh, switch him. Right, you can see that right now Luigi's switching the dice block between what he's holding to Rosalina's, um, or using uh, Luigi's or the regular one if they so choose. But when you do roll it, you get to roll it. So we'll see what Rosalina gets. But then Rosalina is right there in the background. Automatically, she'll roll a little smaller die, a, a, a lower value die block, to help you at least add on to what you rolled. So even though you got coins, you can still move two. I was going to ask about that because it it seems it seems like a challenge to get get two coins, but then the roll is zero. That that's not exactly what that's that's yeah. a choice you make. That's yeah, the risk yeah. reward of playing that game and really getting into that kind of whole aspect of how you're going to choose your strategy and how you're going to move around. What's what's going on? Uh, so one of the, the things that you showed in the trailers was different uses of, obviously we have the Joy-Cons now, we, yeah. have, the, we have the tablet. Um, what, in what ways are you utilizing uh, the, the motion controls along with the tablet? Oh geez, there's a lot of fun mini games uh, that are out there that are going to be in the game. Like there's one where you actually do a tricycle race where essentially you're actually, you have to kind of move it in this weird angle this way. Um, I like it a lot too because if you play as the Goomba character which is available, he actually has no hands so he's just on a tricycle pedaling super fast. <laughs> it's just cute seeing a Goomba pedal, pedal on a tricycle. 
Uh, and that comes with a lot of motion there. There's even a really good one. Uh, it's a frying pan mini game where you actually have a cube of meat that you have to I cook all sides. I saw that in the sides. trailer. And it really takes advantage of the sensitivity of the, of the motion controls. You have to actually flip it, and actually, it feels natural to it. You have, but if you throw it out, you have to start all over. So it's against the clock, against your friends. Who's going to get it done first? Who's going to push each other around? All those fun, fun things that Mario Party is known for. Um, can you can you tell us anything about any more about Toad's Rec Room? Uh, yeah. So actually, this mini game actually um, they're going to play this last mini game here of a free for all. Then I'll actually show some of Toad's Rec Room, which I have right here to give Perfect. an example of. So we'll see what the last mini game for today is. Snack attack. Is this the, the cooking one or no? No, this is not the cooking one. Uh, this one actually, they're going to be holding cups trying to get popcorn. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this volcano is going to explode, and as the volcano explodes, it, or actually, it's a corn, corn husk. Corn yeah, corn cano. Um, and you want to get all the pieces of popcorn that fall down. Again, you can push each other around, um, and you're just trying to get the bigger piece of popcorn or worth more, and you want to avoid those boulders. So they're going to play for another 20 seconds, see where they go, and see if you can get the most. Bowser got hit. And right now, Luigi's kicking is doing really up. Oh, now Peach is in the lead. It keeps it, it, this kid, that, oh, that size of the popcorn. You can even see the shadows, so it can help you determine how big that piece of popcorn is going to be to see which one you should try to go after, or, or if you see a boulder coming down, for instance, as well. Luigi has got a ton of popcorn. That was Peach. Say, Peach or Luigi. So, uh, gonna get there? obviously, this, this time around, we're, you're able to use multiple switches. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys considered, or are you talking about potentially using more than four players, like up to eight or something like that? Right now, the game, yeah, the, the main game that is more is the main game of Mario Party we're showing here is just four players right now. The Toad Rec Room aspect is actually a special mode, is in a separate mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you get a chance to experience what's going on here. So yeah, now I can. While well, they finish that one up, so basically, this is uh, there are multiple games in Toad's Rec Room. There is this is called Banana Split. Um, there is <laughs> Shell Shock Deluxe and Mini League Baseball. So banana split here. So the idea here, just, it's a pretty simple concept. The idea is, base, is that you're trying to match the banana. So once they match up with two different switches, they're, they're communicating lo over local wireless. So you basically just connect it that way to get it going. And now the goal is to get as fast, as quick a time as possible, but matching up all these different patterns. So you're trying to see which way matches up best. So this obviously doesn't, but if you do, you get the X. So you're just kind of spinning these around, just trying to figure out what connects to which one, uh, and try to complete five cool. of these yeah. as quickly as possible. Um, is it, and and so, are you able to compete with multiple people in the sense that like each person takes a shot at this? Each person takes a shot at this. So and basically, right now, does it the fastest or gets the most points? Well, right, because it actually tells you at the end what the record score is when you finish it. So I have one more left to do. Oh, this is hard to do when you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I believe in you. <laughs> so then that's the end of it. So it finishes up like that. It's all just like base camera. So this tells you who won that. So it gives you that's the new record. So now if you were to go, you like, can you get it done faster than 37 seconds? And that's this one. Then the other one is like sh is, is called a Shell Shock Deluxe. The difference there is you're actually playing with four players, each with a Joy-Con controller, and what you're using these these things touching each other is to set up a map. Right. So you actually set up the bricks to align how you want those to connect, and you can create certain pathways. The certain if you want to create like a sm small pathway, make a larger map together like this. So you really have that option, kind of keep flipping it around and seeing what you want to create out mm -hmm. of that whole scenario. That's that's a super creative use of the tablets. <laughs> ha happy to see that stuff. In yeah, the game. The, on the Switch console, it's great seeing they're using that now. Um, and then Mini League Baseball is just basically taking advantage of the kickstand in that situation, and each person's playing two v two. Yeah, that was like the sort of battleship style that they showed in the, in the trailer. Yeah. one person's pitching, one person pitching, one person trying yeah. to swing, and then basically where the ball lands will determine if it's a single, a double, a triple, home yep. run, based on how you're kind of playing that situation as well. Are you guys planning to do additional? Versions of that Toad game besides the, the Toad's three Rec games. Room. As yeah. of now, that's all we're showing right now for those first three. Okay. So let's stay tuned for more about what we'll be able to talk about that in the future. If there's more um, when the game comes out on October 5th, so that'll be good for that one as well. Amiibo support. Uh, more details to come. <laughs> <laughs> more details right, to come. Right, so right. yes, but we could show one more mini game if you guys want to. Love yeah, to. of okay, course. So I'm not sure Absolutely. we'll get this time. Um, going back to the main game, they weren't running through Precision Gardening. I don't know if I played this one personally. So there's something oh. like 80 mini games. There's about this? 80 different mini games of being uh, this one. Um, do you have any fan favorites returning? You can tell uh, us about? That, so a lot of the games we're showing right now are just the new ones that are popping up. Sure. Um, we'll get more into the detail of what all the mini games will be. They'll be inspired by the old ones as well, I'm sure. So it's kind of this combination of just give this, paint that whole thing. Yeah, this one's like the balloon one, just yeah. instead of a balloon. Oh, this one. Water. I see, so I see, see the team yeah, furiously pumping, doing They're pumping. This. <laughs> So yeah, there's hard, they'll harken in that way, trying to take advantage of the mo of the motion control of the. It's, I mean, you guys have like over 180 games wish, to choose from. I wish from. we had a camera on that because that was fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> but Mario won. Who's Mario? Hey, good job, right. Sarah. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see more of those types of ways of using the Joy-Con. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of fun man, games like awesome. that that'll be a chance to play as well. As we're just laughing hysterically on the side. But yeah.
that's most of what Mario Super Mario Party is about so far. And yeah, we'll have plenty of more to talk about as we get closer to that launch date. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for coming yeah. out and showing this to us. I cannot wait to play. Yes. Yep. Thanks for your time, Daniel. Cool. Thanks. It sounds like we're going to go back to Ashley on the sidecar. <laughs> Or it's us. Or, or we can still us. That's <laughs> fine. Let's just play this banana game yeah. just a little bit more here. Can, can, I mean, no one's going to be able to see it. I know you'll see it, but yeah, that's true. Just imagine what it's like <laughs> if I'm building a banana <laughs> using two switches. Uh, I love how seamlessly it works together. Yeah, it's yeah, cool how you can drag wireless. it across both the screens, too. Yeah, it's just really simple how it's just able to just recognize easily. Even, if just, even like this is just easily able to recognize what's right, going just on. Knows so it just needs what's happening. So it's just impressive that it's able to just quickly match up how accurate. Whoops. How could that is actually just to match up how each piece lines up for each one as they go, which is his own thing. Did th was was this like kind of part of like the dev process for Mario, or did somebody come up with this on their own and they're like, hey, that, that's know, an awesome cool. question that I should ask the devs. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the full. <laughs> All equation. right, so are you ready to be upset with each other? Because that's what Mario Party's gonna do. Yep. Oh, you want? Um, shout out to Sarah. Sarah is a, a, a stone cold pro at like every Nintendo game. Has been for the last couple years. She's always the ringer. Were you playing as Mario in that one? Yeah. Oh. And you won. I won. Yeah. Always. All right. I've never seen. I've never seen her not win. Gotta make Mario look good. That's important. <laughs> important.